Yep, change back, change back, change back, change back, change back. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ben and today I'll be reacting to She-Hulk Attorney at Law episode 3. My hope for this episode is that it starts to connect more with the bigger MCU because during its promotion it was, we were told that it was going to connect with Sorcerers, Daredevil, the Sokovia Accords. So now that we're a third of the way through I kind of hope that at least one of those things are referenced. So without further ado, let's dive on in. Prison does look weird as well. Okay, I like that. She's walking with confidence now. She knows what she's doing. Wong, just yeah. Wong and his. This episode is just gonna be all about Wong, isn't it? He's either a sorcerer. Or... Target sales associate. He worked at Target before he was librarian. I know you can't wait to see mm. Wong. I yeah. I want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. Mm. And Wong. <laughs> Just remember whose show this actually is. Okay, that was good. I like that they know everyone wants to see Wong. That was good. Uh, 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 Jennifer Walter speaking? Oh, yes, I will be right there. Holloway beckons. Mm. Mm. People want to know every single detail about your life. Your she doesn't need to take control now. of the public the eye. She needs to show herself as a superhero. She needs to go out and be like in a super suit and doing that sort of thing. That will get the public on her side. Just doesn't have any Red Bull. <clears throat> Dennis. No, what? not Jen Walters. Why is Dennis here? You wanted to see me? Ah, yes. Mallory Book is also in the super okay, new character. The why the superhuman law division. The girlfriend in question is a shape-shifting light elf from New Asgard. Oh. I thought I was dating Megan the Stallion. I'm sorry. What? Sorry, you thought you were dating Megan the Stallion? Part of shapeshifter did you not get? <laughs> I thought she drove oh, a whistle. Are you This guy is so sad. Wong! Well, Receive your message. Good luck, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the robes. I required a worthy opponent as part of my training to become Sorcerer Supreme. And as Sorcerer Supreme, I insist that he not be punished for my actions. Okay. Send him to the mirror dimension. I don't know what that is, but no. Shadow Wait, dimension? what? Very well. We'll reserve sorcery for strategy B. Don't tap your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Wong. 50,000. Nice. 100. 200. Hundred. No, it's more like one seventy-five. No, oh, this guy is so sad. Start building your case, and I will be in touch, Mr. Bukowski. Right. Oh, this is so awkward. <laughs> oh, okay. What's up, bro? How's it hanging, man? Um, why'd it come back? I'm gonna drop the case. Wait, wait, wait just now? You so just... The truth is, no. I gave those things because I wanted to. I was just. Oh uh, no! Nervous. This is the imposter. This is the owl. Oh. This is the owl. Oh. Not cool. Let that be a war. Okay. Can we get a oh, word? Trying to keep is it true you were rejected by the Avengers? <laughs> Jennifer Walters, also known as She-Hulk, rumored to have been rejected by the Avengers. Why well, she have been rejected by them? There barely is any Avengers anymore. We still don't know who's actually on the team. We do have a witness who is able to clear Mr. Blonsky of any wrongdoing on his part. Well, uh, yes, the, the witness is prepared. Come on, Wong. Great remorse, great shame to those that I've harmed. Okay. I have changed. Emotionally, physically, metaphysically, spiritually. This is rehearsed. What Mr. Mm. Blonsky is trying to say nope. is Don't that the man him. you see, actually, he plans to open a meditation retreat on the property. Oh dear. In a long term committed relationship with several pen pals, um, all of. Oh, uh, okay, that's odd. Now the library is more than just a quiet place to shoot someone. <laughs> If he ever decides to show up. There we go. Where was he? Come on, Wong. 
Excuse me, Your Honor, but Asgard is not a place. It is. Oh, a here we go. Inspirational speeches are not admissible in court. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My client was defrauded of $175,000 by a scam. Yeah, as much as Dennis is a jerk, he technically does have a really good legal argument. Ms. Runa, your motion to dismiss is denied. Okay. So on one hand, I don't like Dennis. On the other hand, I don't like Runa now. Oh, this is obviously Runa. Impersonating a judge is illegal. Get down from there. <laughs> I offered them asylum at Kamataj. Just truly lovely this time of the year. Yeah, good thing he didn't go there. Ask Wanda, probably would have killed him. Oh no, absolutely not. Hang on a sec. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because he doesn't have an alternate personality. The abomination is Emil. Change back, change back, change back, change back. As you can see, I'm in full control. That's enough. That CGI looks like amazing. Change back, change back, change back, change back, change back. For Mr. Wong, just one. <laughs> the Sorcerer Supreme, Master of the Mystic Arts, leader and former librarian of Kamataj. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. <laughs> if they can't hold Wong accountable, there's no way Wong there can. Go away, you know, with one little interview. Good day, LA is thirsty for you. No, thank you. Hard pass. Oh, come on. I can go back to being a normal, anonymous lawyer who also happens to be a Hulk. What are you talking about? Jen, yeah, this isn't going away. Bukowski. Oh, yeah, no, you're gonna need that. Connecting the A and B story? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> How would you characterize Mr. Bukowski in relation to his romantic life? He once described himself as a New York 10 and an LA 11. <laughs> <laughs> it's been stated many times in this courtroom that a man of reasonable intelligence would never think that he was dating the real man. Uh, okay, so just going with the dumb approach. Dennis Bukowski is an almost pathologically entitled man. He would absolutely believe that he's dating the real Megan Thee Stallion Ooh, wow. because he is truly that delicious. That's bringing her so much joy. To 60 days for impersonating a judge. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's right. There's only one Megan Wait. Thee Stallion. <laughs> Reviewing his record, we hereby grant Mr. Blonsky's release on parole effective immediately. Ooh. Okay, so Abomination is out by episode three. Well, you might want to reconsider that. I mean, they're going to write a story about you one way or the other, you know. Better to be part of it, really. Abomination giving a good advice. Ooh. It's too quiet. Who's that? That's, um... Who, what? That's the wreck... That's a wrecking crew. That's the wrecking crew. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Get off me. <laughs> <laughs> what are they using? What is that? Magic. Did you guys Oh yes. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, you're doing nothing to her. <laughs> okay, good. Bulletproof skin. Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Once you turn into She Hulk. I couldn't pierce that nasty green skin. Damn it! They wanted her blood. Why did they want her blood? What's that? What was that? What was that look at herself? What was the look of the reflection mean? Because I know in the comics she like decides to stay permanently She-Hulk for a while. So is this what the series is leading up to? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> you are way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan Thee Stallion. Dial it back. <laughs> okay, first off, I'm loving the legality of the show. I think it's so interesting that they've and done so well that they've managed to fit in two court cases in one episode. I think that just opens up so many possibilities for the rest of the of the series. Because now, originally, I thought there was going to be like one court case per episode, but now they can introduce loads of different characters loads of different plot lines and keep it all within one episode.
And I just can't wait to see how it's going to affect the show going forward. I like how the cameos are actually done quite well and each one has a reason for being there. Be it Wong or Megan Thee Stallion, they actually served a point and a purpose to the plot. So I'm really enjoying the world building so far this show because now they've added another Asgardian element to the world with the Light Elves. So now that adds to like seven different Asgardian characters, I guess, because we've had the Asgardians themselves, Fire Giants, Frost Giants, Dark Elves, the Dwarfs, and now the Light Elves are added to it as well. I think that episode definitely helps set up the overall story more because now we've seen at the end Abomination is now free and is in the world and now there's the Wrecking Crew that are going after Jen's blood and obviously want to use it to probably enhance themselves and become more powerful villains. So I can't wait to see how this all plays out over the next six episodes. I'm also quite surprised that Titania hasn't shown up again yet because she was very heavily promoted in the show's promotion and she was very focused on and she has a home character poster. So I'm surprised that she hasn't shown up that much in the first three episodes, if that makes sense. Finally, that last look of where she stares at her own reflection in the car mirror, I'm really hoping that that's the start of her starting to embrace her character and her powers and like the fact that she is now a superhero. I hope that that just starts to build in more comic confidence. And yeah, I just hope that she'll start learning to be a superhero, that it'll just feel more organic going forward when she shows up in the Avengers, that she'll be happy and she'll be confident and that she will just enjoy being able to save people with the powers that she's been given. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel to grow, and I will see you next time for She-Hulk Attorney at Law, Episode 4.